Alright everybody, welcome into today's video. Today is going to be a body tapping, clothing, scratching video. It's going to be really similar to the videos that Tiptoe, 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 Tiptoe Tingles does. She is like the queen of body tapping triggers and like the collarbone tapping. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's get into it. I'll probably, maybe I'll ramble a bit. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Let's see. So today I have on this cute little ribbed cropped long sleeve top. It's, I really like it. It's like a good staple piece because it's so versatile can go with a lot of outfits. It's got little pretend buttons right there. Pretty dry. My hands, especially. Oh my gosh. I took a trip a few days ago to Salt Lake City, actually, and the plane and the air thing in the planes has dried out my skin so much. tapping on my arm. So maybe I'll grab some lotion for a minute. I'll do a little bit of the lotion. Sounds too acidic. I have a bottle in here somewhere. I have on these big, I guess you would call them knee high, knee high socks. I almost said thigh high, but I only go to my knee. Socks. This isn't like an outfit I would wear out. It was just cold. And these were the only socks I could find. And I was wearing them all scrunched down like that. so good at these videos. I don't know how she does it. I've like watched all her body tapping videos that she does. That she does. That she does. That she does. And she makes it look so easy. But I 
feel like, I don't know, she does the chaotic style, like the fast paced chaotic, like snapping ASMR so well. Whenever I do it, I feel like it just doesn't sound quite right to me when I'm like hearing it back. That's why I really wanted to make sure I was using headphones for this video so I can make sure that I'm hearing everything because either I feel like I make things way too quiet and then you can't hear anything later when I'm playing it back or it's like too loud or I don't know like it's almost too loud and chaotic not that some people don't really enjoy chaotic, fast-paced ASMR. I'm so excited it's finally starting to get a little bit warm where I'm at. And I am so stoked to get the pull out. My warm weather clothes. It's not like quite warm enough. I think it was, I mean, it was pretty warm. It was 70 to like 75 degrees Fahrenheit uh, the other day, <clears throat> and then it cooled down. A lot, so we're gonna go into like nice weather and then like bleh. So, so that, bleh, I don't think so. I hate that time of the year where like you have to dress like super warm in the beginning of the or yeah, super warm in the beginning of the day because it's so cold, and then midday it's like warm, so then everything you're wearing is too hot and then it cools down again. It's just such a plain time, and I'm not a big like layers person. coming back to this now, but Salt Lake was really fun. I've never been there before. I went to visit some friends, and we had a really good time. I got to try Soda Shop place, like that's really big over in Utah. And I got this ginormous flavored Dr. Pepper. It was like coconut and blackberry and then like half and half in there, and it was pretty good. It was pretty good. I told my sister I really wanted to go to a soda shop and the reason I really wanted to go was the, for Pilk, which I don't even know is like a, a thing that they came up with in Utah. I, I don't even really remember where I saw it, but it's like Pepsi mixed with milk and I could literally make that at home, but I was obsessed with getting it from a soda shop. 
But when I told my sister, I was like, I'm gonna go to a soda shop. She was like, you have to get something with Dr. Pepper. She's one of those Dr. Pepper girlies. So that's what I got. And then I had to sit through with a few other people. Someone got um, some kind of like energy drink thing and that was actually really tasty. And then there was this like guava thing and I love guava. But for whatever reason, I don't know if this one actually didn't have soda in it because I think they had like flavored uh, waters too. But it did not taste like it had any sugar in it, which is probably a good thing because I think it was just a little sugar. It just didn't taste like anything, especially compared to when you were drinking like these flavored sodas and energy drinks. So it was a little disappointing, but not too bad. Overall, a very good experience. I had a lot of fun. I got to see the Great Salt Lake, like the actual lake area. And the water there is very gross. It's like murky colored, like murky greenish, and it's just full of these teeny tiny little shrimp that I guess they farm for like fish, fish food, but it smells, it smells, and there's like biting gnats that are like swarm all around you. We got out for a little bit of this like little beach area, and then there were just like bugs everywhere, and it stunk and everything because it's like all salty, like everything there beach is like all white and then the water is just reflecting you couldn't see anything because it was it wasn't like super sunny but it was kind of sunny to the point where I was like I'm just blind and I couldn't see anything I had to just squint my eyes and then the swarm of bugs and it's super gross oh my god that one was buzz on me that scared me oh I thought it was a spider it was not a spider Then we walked around for a while out there because there were like little trails and there's a bunch of bison out there, which is really cool. Um, we only saw like, I don't know, I want to say like 10 of them. I think there's like 500 or so in the whole park. At least that's what we saw. We went to the visitor center and that was really fun. Uh, they had like a little gift shop and it was really pretty. And they had little bathrooms because everywhere else was like little outhouses and I was not about to get eaten by bugs in that outhouse. And then after, yeah, after that, we went and we tried to walk up this like mountain, but I'm scared of heights. So like this trail, like went up this, it, it was more like a really big hill, but it was a very, cliffy when we got to this like second portion very steep and I'm not in like any attire to be actually hiking and so I didn't really want to go hiking anyways uh, and so I stayed at like the halfway point because you it was a loop so you'd like go up the mountain and then you loop back down so I was like absolutely no I will wait for you down here so a couple of our friends went up to the summit and you know hung out there for a couple of minutes and we were like too much I had it was just really steep and like it's like path and then cliff and I'm like mm -mm, I, I cannot that makes me nervous
if you liked this video, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!